Now I look at the team today, um, the age is residential property values. How low can we go? How does it impact between the law of landlord and tenants? Now, very simple. Um, obviously when you buy properties, uh, uh, you look at yield, you look at return. All right? So you look at appreciation game, you look at cash flow in the meantime, therefore while you're waiting for it to appreciate, you have to rent it out. Yes? Okay. The other way is obviously you're looking for recurring income. Right? Recurring income means that you actually uh, um, uh, want the, the rental income to pay for all your bills, you know, every month you don't work, and then every month end or month as you open a month, you then check your account and see, oh, the rental is in, it's good, that's another month. Great. So that will obviously uh, uh, impact on residential uh, property values, particularly right now uh, in a very challenging time. A good location where you can find good tenants uh, and all that will always matter. All right? So, next questions. Okay, you said, how low can we go? First of all, uh, that is a Libra there. I'm not here to do any, do any politics uh, for you. Uh, I don't care about what happened to the Bukit and the Batang, but, but I try to neutrify it with a little bit of green there. So you can see it's not balanced in terms of this. Now, why am I talking about this? I'm saying this, the theme of today is how low can we go? What do that mean? Does it mean only price? Does it mean only cost? Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you say how low can we go, it actually means two things. Number one, obviously, value, right? If it is very hard to get a tenant or very hard to get good tenant, what do you do? Do you lower the rent, all right? Number two, bargaining power is very important. Bargaining power for you, ladies and gentlemen, is always like that. There's two ways of looking at it. Uh, when times are good and all that, this is my property, I'm renting it out to you as a tenant, and I'm actually asking you to take care of my place and whatnot, and here's my condition. So you have to make sure this is done and whatnot, pay my rent on time and everything. All right? And then, and then this will come. Therefore, it's always been a very imbalanced situation. I'm the owner, I'm the master, so you're my tenant, therefore you're my slave. You know, that kind of mentality. But the other way around, if the come, uh, which is also quite true now, if it's very challenging where tenant is very hard to come by, do you have to really uh, lower down your, your expectation? Oh, take, take two, two months rental fee for, for renovations, for example. Things like that. So it is the idea to actually achieve an equilibrium to make sure that the Libra actually stand in equal and balance. All right? So that go to um, what I want to talk about. Now, every one of us dream, all right? Do we all dream? Yes? You have to understand. Uh, the reality is this. We work every month. We get our salary at the month end and whatnot. Or you like me, like an entrepreneur, you work every month. You make sure everyone got paid and hopefully there's something left for you, right? Yeah. Uh, so precisely. So you think that uh, if you work for, for someone, you got only one boss. This is what I'm going to say. If you are working for yourself, everyone is your boss. So to all my bosses, good morning to you. And um, number one, so what I'm trying to say is that, first of all, that's in the reality. So we have to get start dreaming. So dreaming is like this. So dreaming means I work less, everything's beautiful, nice gardens, and then, oh, month end, pick up check, good. So I invest in property, yes? So you now know where to invest, I invest in property. But is it like that? You know, when I give in the title, it says nightmare, right? Do you know that nightmare cannot actually happen without you dreaming? So he give me this light. Hello? Yo? He said, when dreams come true, that's where nightmare begins. You have a nice house, yeah? And if you don't manage it properly, your property, all the bads and the spooky, spooky things will come. Well, what is nightmare? Ladies and gentlemen, let me take you through. Okay, come on. See, you can take dream is get dreamy here. So. Okay, nightmare number one. Non-payment areas of land. This is very common, isn't it? Tenant don't pay. What to do? Tenant don't pay is a big issue because, um, 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 because even though you have given the, 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 the deposit you have collected and whatnot, but you're still looking at the cash flow to move, all right? Rightfully, you cannot spend those deposits. And the question is, what, um, if they don't pay, other than getting a lawyer like me to sue them, um, what else can you do? So that's a very big nightmare situation. Next. 
This one, we're still waiting. You're coming up. <laughs> this one is about runaway tenant. Oh, let's try again. Yes, runaway tenant. Um, this is not your forest gum run, forest gum kind of thing. But what happened is that you wake up one day, you go and see your 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 tenanted property happily. You know, want to collect your rent. Suddenly you see, hey, no one there and everything is trash, they remove every property and assets inside, all the water heater, aircon, everything is gone. What do you do? Hey, where's my tenant? That's number one. Number two, it could be even worse. Just think about it. You went there first time, no one there, all right? And it's locked. You went there the next day, it's not there. You went there the next week, it's not there. But all the things remain intact inside the house. Okay, you come back there three months later, also the same, but there's no tenant. No one is paying you rent. What do you do? This is a real nightmare. You don't think that I can just open the door, walk in, all right, and then dump everything out. Just first question. Number two, does everything inside there belong to the tenant? I can tell you most of them is not, this, especially these days. Why? Because the TV belongs to Courts Manor, all right? The, the, the furniture belongs to IKEA or whatnot, under installment plan and whatnot. So what I'm trying to tell you is that these are serious problems. You thought it's a dream, all right? That's where nightmares start. Um, okay, so disappear tenant is an issue. What about tenant that always just love your premises so much that they don't even want to leave? How's that? The one you disappear, you can't find it, right? So the chief more said, now you see it, fine, permanently. You know, you're not getting rent, they're not paying you. Right? And then they don't want to renew the, the tenancy agreement signed with you. So what do you do? Right? Can you chase them up? Yes, you can. As usual, Malaysia jurisdiction, uh, um, Malaysia legal system offer you protection. Yeah? Slowly but surely. Yeah? Improper use, nuisance by turn. Any lawyer in town? <laughs> Put your hand up. Any lawyer? No? Cool. Hey, you are my partner. You should be a lawyer, right? <laughs> hey, okay. Nightmare number four, I'm trying to tell you is that improper use and nuisance by tenant. You rent a house. Today we are talking about residential property. Yes, residential property, uh, so you, you rent it as a house, but they do it as something else. Someone operates something in the house. For example, they do a massage parlor. You know, they go and do printing of VCDs. Your VCD vendors are there, you know, for example. And then if, 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 if you like me, like music, you probably do a, 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 a jamming studio inside, all right, for example. Then it becomes a nuisance. So you are a landlord. What do you do? They have kind of nightmare. What do you do with this kind of tenant? All right. Um, let's go to the last one. Bad maintenance by tenants. Okay. Maintenance is actually on the part of the landlord. What I'm trying to say is that the rough usage by the tenant. Just don't be fooled by this. Just because he's a he's a he's a he's an on time paying you know his rental and whatnot. Right, doesn't make him a good tenant in this way. A lot of us will, will lower our uh, sensitivity, or lower our, our defensiveness to say, okay, no, since they're paying every good, so this guy is very good. So he's actually a very good tenant to us. But what happened is, uh, while you are neglecting because you are, you know, every day they, they, they send you the, the renter and whatnot, it could be a case whereby he has actually not been treated you as lovely as they treated the premises that you rent to them. So these are key issues about nightmare. So. I'm telling you, I painted a big picture to say that fine, you can dream all you want, but you dream, you must do something. All right? You have to always remember this. If you have placed your hard earned money, invested in property, right? why would you leave it hanging at that? So you have to attend to it to make sure it come back to you right? Uh, uh, with all the returns and all the dreams, uh, benefits that you always wanted.